Now you see me? Now you don't. Now you see me? Now you don't. Uh, today we're gonna pull the wire through the cage, uh, probably pop the taillights in, and be ready to be, uh, let people know I'm gonna stop and or turn. You know, taillights going in. Alright, so what we got here is some wire. And I cut them all back at different lengths. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed this here through this little hooky loop. And I'm gonna fold it over like so. And then I'm gonna tape it up like so. Ta da! All right, well, I got this wire strung out all over the floor here, stretched out and straightened out since it was in a roll. Let me move you guys real quick. All right, a little better angle there now. So here's my wire. And we pull. And we are up in the hole. And we are snug. There we go. And we will just, since I can reach both sides, I will just feed one end and pull the other. Voila, wires fed all the way through. Easy as that. Well, we're gonna do things a little different here for a second. It is uh, the next week, Saturday morning, and we're gonna mosey on down to the local Cars and Coffee and uh, check out some rides. So, uh, figure I'd fire up the odor. No tail lights or nothing, you know. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out some cars. You're coming with. So this is the first Cars and Coffee I'd actually been to. Uh, turns out, and I didn't know this, they've been doing this in our town for several months now, like six months or something. But this is the first one I ever went to, so it was a good time. Uh, weather was kind of gloomy in the morning, so probably didn't get as many cars as we hoped for. That 56 you saw just a second ago, that was uh, Mike and Meeks. He's got his own channel on the YouTubes, uh, Empire of Rust. You probably ought to go check him out too. Uh, everybody loves a prelude. Love them Honda preludes. I don't know why. I always just kind of, you know, liked them. That truck right there, it's a, a twin turbo LS. Apparently pretty quick. Clean Mustang. Nice Corvette. White flavor. Packed in there. Man, look at that engine. It's just stuffed in there. And there's another Corvette in a gray flavor. Another engine stuffed in there. Clean interior. Of course, probably ought to be clean. I'd be a little upset if there's candy wrappers and pop bottles and Cigarette butts and everything else laying on the floor of my Corvette. Nice shiny blue Camaro. The old Chevy bow tie. I like the Chevy bow tie. This here uh, unibody Ford. It's a clean looking truck. I'm not sure if I call that rust or patina. It's rust to me because it's old. But people call it patina and charge you double for it. And look at that. Woo! The odor. Look at that small block Chevy. 
Big old swampers. Next Cars and Coffee be coming up April 8th. Be there. Be square. All right, I hope everybody's ready for this. So here we go. Now you see me, now you don't. Now you see me, now you don't. Uh, brake lights. Uh, brakes. Brakes. Now, for turn signal. You know, turn signal still got the old hyper flash, the super fast. Uh, we're uh, a little fast on that one. And the left one, driver's side, don't flash at all because, well, we don't have a bulb in the front, so there's not enough resistance to make the flasher even flash. So again, I will probably grab a couple resistors and throw in there, and we're probably not even going to show that. But what we are showing, well, you know what? We're probably not gonna show this either. Cause look at this. See this little guy right here? Yeah. Now that it works, I'm gonna trim this up and come through the body and put all this stuff inside the cab. Uh, back behind the back seat that's not really there anymore. So everything works, we're good and fat. Now it's just time to uh, clean up this whole loom and make it look pretty. So that's what we're going to do next. We'll probably uh, spare you the agony of watching me do that and let you see it once it's done. So we'll keep on plugging away. All right, YouTubers. Another video coming to a close. Here's the pile of wire I cut out. Loom's nice and pretty in there, all taped up, all tucked away under the uh, air compressor. Under the rail there, all tucked up in there, nice, clean and nice. Hazards work. A little fast on the flasher, but like I said, I gotta get a resistor. Uh, there's regular tail lights. Got the tag lights. Everything works good. Not bad. Now it's actually legal to drive on the street at night again. That's good. All right, guys. So if you like what you see here today, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. You know, tell your friends about me. Leave a comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you'd like to see more of. Uh, all right, next video, probably, oh, what are we gonna do next? Start my sliders, maybe? Sliders are more XO. Sliders are more XO, yeah, I agree. So, yeah, probably start making the top hoop for this thing. All right, stay tuned. Till next time, guys, I appreciate you.